All right, my friends, we are going to go over a series that we just, uh, we just went over in class today. Um, when somebody is down low in the guard, there's a certain percentage of, of jiu-jitsu players that like to, to stay very low in the closed guard. Uh, you know, guys who like the Sao Paulo pass, smash passes, things like that. And they like to control the hips, okay? So if their posture's up, I want to break them down. But when they're down low like this, sometimes I want to bring them up sort of into the middle ground, right, where I can attack them better. So down here, if he has me blocked and I can't cross my arms in their collar, I can't sit up and get a head off to the side, any of that stuff, or I can't move my hips out to the side, what do I really have, right, as far as attack goes? Not much, okay? So one thing you can do when they're hunkered down like this, okay, and some people will do this as a stalling measure in, in competition, is I can come in like this. I'm gonna take this arm, I'm gonna knife it in. If, I, if they're heavy, really heavy here like this, I just bounce my hips a little bit to get my hip, my hand inside. Now I'm gonna grab either the shoulder or just grab a hold of the material right here on the shoulder and I put a little bit of flare on it, okay? So I'm gonna flare my elbow up. I come up on this elbow, back foot steps on the floor. I'm gonna scoop my hips out, foot in the hip. Now, this hook goes in, so I'm gonna put the butterfly hook on the back side here, if you can see that, all right? So I'm here, I have the foot and the hip. Right away, if they're still engaging with me here, I'm gonna reach around, grab my own, my own elbow right here and start this, this choke, okay? If, they, if they, don't, they don't go out from the choke, I'm gonna keep moving this, sorry. I'm gonna keep moving that direction until I sweep them. Quite often what'll happen is if their head is this direction, they don't want, they don't want this, this forearm underneath of their neck, for obvious reasons, they'll tuck their head to that side. So I lift up here, you have to be careful here. Be in control, foot in the hip, hook in, I reach around, same thing. I'm lifting this elbow up above their shoulder, so I grab, okay? So I'm grabbing right there, just that fold of the, of the gi right there. I'm grabbing right there, but now I'm not on his neck, but I'm on his jaw. So I start the move, this foot comes off the hip, I go underneath, I start lifting the backside hook to help sweep them over, okay, into the mount position, all right? So if they tuck that chin, you can still get the sweep for sure. All right, but I'm gonna be attacking both at the same time. As soon as this reaches around, I wanna pull this up above their shoulder. All right, I'm here, I've made my, my frame here, I grab the gi, lift, I'm up on my elbow. Foot to the floor, shirt cross, foot in the hip. Hook comes in, I sit up to my hand. If they're still engaging here, I wrap right here, okay? And then we start our process. This is hook sweep from here. Now, if he brings this hand up, the most common problem you're gonna have here is they're gonna bring this hand up to push the elbow down right away. I go to the back of the neck, loop, and finish your cross joke right there, okay? So, pretty simple series, uh, simple answer for somebody who wants to just lay down and stall on you, whatever, and you wanna make some space and start the attack. Um, I'm a big fan of the closed guard, obviously, but uh, you know sometimes it's good to disengage, maybe even use that foot and hip, come up on the hand, and stand up, right? So, give that a shot, let us know what y'all think, and. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We will see you soon.